My love for Japan started 25 years ago. Every Friday night, my mom gave me pocket money to go to the video store. And that day, I don't remember why, but I choose Castle in the Sky, the animation movie from 1986, the year that I was born. And I never looked back after that. I was hooked to Japanese animation, Japanese manga, and after that, when the internet came, I was like, wow, Japan, they have all of those festivals and a cute costume, and I really want to go there. I feel like I'm not fitting in Canada anymore. So when I was an adult after university, I flew to Thailand and never went back to Canada again. Aww. And it's been like more than 10 years. So yeah, well, the song is about that, the joy of travel. Yeah. And wander around the world, around Japan, in that context. Yes. I could cry. He looks so young in this video. Yeah. I always see a video of him when he was older. And it made me remember the, f the first time that I traveled. Nobody gave me dice like in these lyrics. Uh. But when I went overseas, the first thing that I did, the first time I went to Thailand, I was playing poker online. And in the, in the lyrics, he's kind of uh, old man give him dice and he lost all of the money gambling oh and it's the, the well when you travel there's kind of a gamble right you don't yeah. know what will happen to you i saw that as like a metaphor for life and as a traveler you t always take a big risk and it's always very like uh, st stressful yeah mm. it really keep like it's traveling vibe for for sure this yeah song. <laughs> Wow, this is one of my favorite songs. I, wow, his voice is so, whoa, I'm shocked. And you know, a lot of people have different reasons to travel first. Yo. Me, it was not even to see the world. I just wanted to get out of Canada. And I was very stressed. I, my upbringing was very difficult at school. And I wanted to get out of everything that I knew and that made me sad. And it's not a very good reason, but I wanted to go away to maybe start over something. Just, just get out of all the word memory bad memory that i had of my childhood and just start over somewhere with all, everything fresh you know wow he's still lucky because when he think like that he can get out but some people when they wanted to get out they not even have a chance to get out yeah i felt stuck it was very like anxious feeling i had to get out and i know it's not necessarily a good reason to do it but yeah it, it's been good for me since now you even stuck more well, like, because of, but, yeah, anyway, yeah. <laughs>
Again, goosebumps. It brings back a lot of memory. You know, I left also because I didn't want to become an office worker. Oh. Someone who worked like eight to four. I tried some job when I was in university. I was so nervous every time. And I said, I want to go. I want to work on my own. I want to be able to work whenever I want. And I want the freedom to do what I want with my life and not be stuck. Like you're young and you look at adult, you're like boring. You know, the adult. They're like, oh my God, your life is like dictated and you have children and everything is dictated. And I wanted to do something that was more free. And I feel like when you become an adult, you often lose that sense of freedom. And I was so afraid after university to lose that, that I just, I just run. Do you have freedom? Yes. Now? Yes, of course. <laughs> I do. I do YouTube when I want. Can I? <laughs> of course, the money is not easy. When I want. It's always a money issue in life, right? Even if you have your freedom. Yeah. Sometimes you, you have freedom, but there's money that you don't have because of that excess of freedom. Yeah. But it's better than to be stuck in a job with a boss that you don't like, you know? <gasps> mm. gonna sing like the song like this and it remind me of when we were young we always go to the concert in the cold season thing like that it's so so good and you know when you think about it you know every year you always gonna think about the past because the 90 concert it's so good you have a lot of memory about this but at this day you have nothing and especially see the pandemic you not really love to go out anymore you just watch everything in front of the screen i mean it changed your um it changed your lifestyle a lot sometimes mm. i want to bring i want that kind of you know moment back again and even you are like the new generation 
you should try the 90 generation thing like that. This is before the 90. Oh. But I agree with you. The feeling of going to a video store and renting the cassette. You have to you have to pick which one you want to, yeah. to bring with your home. You can only bring one. And the feeling of choosing and now for three days it's just your and you're gonna watch it mm. and nobody else will watch it. Like a lot of the time it was the first day that the cassette get released on the store. So you run yeah. there and you hope that there's gonna be one left and you just grab it and it that feeling it's like missing because you're right the internet kind of a lot of those feelings people will not experience anymore and it's a bit sad Yo. i kind of agree with what you're saying that hmm? i will put a video here please click on it let's know what you think and uh Mata Mata